What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're ready to go. So, we gotta hunt down our assassination. Stealing party. a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogilu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! <laughs> You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. So let's actually take a look at her combo potential. So he's still the only person I have with heals. Omahama! Oh, he has a lot of moves that would probably be pretty awesome. Start working back in. One, form two, form three. Water hammer, imbue, earth fire burst. I like how he has like, a very heavy element focus. You also have healing circle. Aside from that, water mana. Stun. You have fire. Aqua split. Yellow. How do I? Shit, let's pull her in for a bit. Oh, miss me that much, did ya? See how she does. All right. And I'm supposed to be hunting down that guy, but I don't know where the hell he went. Oh no, we're just going back to Tabitha. Okay. Scout ship. Really gotta sell stuff. I have a lot of shit to sell. Sorry, did I talk to you after completing my hunts? Another one, a pill bug. Skills to use this elemental damage. I was just in the Barona Catacombs, though. Wasn't I? We're gonna go back. I'm gonna find this fucking pill bug. Before we turn in our hunt. City drainage system. I don't remember seeing that thing while I was down there, but we're gonna go back in and find it. Kill this thing. I know, um, one of you guys in the comments mentioned that there was a hidden path that I overlooked. Maybe that's where the pill bug was. Either way, we'll hunt it down. We gonna get it, because I want that money. Plus, it'll be interesting to see what a, a hard tier enemy. Oh, fuck, I can't go back in, can I? That was the only entrance I had. Son of a bitch. Guessing I can't go back in via sanctuary, though I could try. That gonna be yep, can't go that way either. Damn it. Well, I'm assuming I can go back in after I report to Tabitha. So let's report to Tabitha, then we'll go back down into the EG sewers and we'll try and find the pill bug. I really want more speed. I want like extra twenty percent. Velvet in full sprint as we're traveling. You did the job. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcist can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm. 
So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. But Malakim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. I mean, we, we have... Well, I may not look it, yeah, but a I'm a greater Malak! Aizen, Lafiset, and it's Bienfu. Three. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu, though. You have no courtesy. How about, it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the Shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between Shepherd and Demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if, if you came with us, Pl please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. You know... I like Velvet, but there's got to be a point where she stops this Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm a badass attitude. Like, it's it's got to go, Velvet. I get it. You're not... You're a demon. You want revenge. But there's a point where you're you got to just chill. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. Alright, let's see if I can go down into the sewer and do that hunt now. Ah, <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning. Especially after a long night of metting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor, battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. 
You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Alright, see if I can head back there. We'll go walk. See what the exclamation points are. I hear the high priest was injured, and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor, indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor, but it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! <laughs> Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. That's honestly pretty stupid. Main pendant. Why is mana? Let's check, uh, how are we on equipment? Where's pendants? Here we go. For real though, a thing fell off a shelf, like, dude straight up turned into a lizard, was afflicted by demon blight, and hauled ass away. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that dove act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it! If you insist. But just a warning, there's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. See you at our next show. Go run back. I'm gonna sell. I got, I got a bunch of items. Inventory at. Uh... Oh, somebody in the comments was like, oh, you gotta go to all the exclamation points, because they're important. That did not seem very important. Or informative, for that matter. Oh, rough gem show? Holy shit. They sell for 21 fucking thousand, dude. Money, money, money. Money. Holy. Jesus. Fucking decked. What did I get? I picked up. Hang on, let me see what I got. What did I get? I got. Play sight. And a silky touch garment. Okay. Silky touch garment and then a 
Oops. A side. Here's his name. I don't see anything that looks like that. Is it, an, is it just a usable? Provides the ability to trigger a random skill that reduces item cooldown rate. Let me say. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go see if we can go back down because I want to do that hunt. Boo! Grab the mouse to get OBS up so I can see the time. It's so crazy for a second. City drainage system? City side. Damn, this thing could be anywhere here. Well, there's that blue thing on the map. I don't know what that is, but. Save? No, that's a teleport. Yeah. City side, city side, villa side. But imagine it would be like down here. Let's teleport towards the end. So I imagine we would find it somewhere close to the end. And this is Barona Catacombs. Where are you at, Hunter? Wait until I pull out the good stuff. Next, we'll switch blast. I'm worried that might be. Already learned about switch blast. Woo! It's a biggie! <laughs> Oh. 
If I'm in this, I'm... Yeah. Those sylph jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled sylph jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't <laughs> even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> Alright, so I need to get over like there. So to get to that part of B3, B2 city side, get to B, I get up to that thing. I'm gonna go, let me just, let me. Hello again, I'm Bienfu Amalek. Nice to meet you all. Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm... classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No. Don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the oblivious grows longer. All right, so I got to get back to where that break was. That's the only thing I can think is where it would be. Somebody pointed it out on videos. I mean, isn't this the entrance into the... Oh, no. So, from here... I gotta get to B2. So I gotta get there. So, which of these... Those lead to B3. So, I wanna take the top exit here... Then the top right. I think that'll pull me out to the hunt. Don't get careless! Ha ha ha. 
did you think you could escape me? I don't know what I got, or where I got those gems that were 20,000. They were probably a jump off the boss, but... And all those things, in case I somehow find another one. After the hunt, I'll probably teleport back. Should be right up here. Yep, there it is. Hey, buddy. Damn, dude. Picking things off with a bang, I guess. It's a pill bug and frustration. So, my A combo. I could go at A, so A, B, A, A. We'll do the majority of damage to it. They are pulling out all the fucking stops on this thing. Swap will uh, remove that. Right, she's not set up to heal. She can, but it's not like it's not her. Uh... Okay, 
Where's the... There we go, strategy is what I want. Um, there are multiple interfere with enemy arts, engage at range. Be offensive. Stay in the whole thing. Damn. Come on. It's no joke. Put up some fight. Okay. Got faster in the boots. Oh wow. So Rokuro comes back with one health. Capability. Poison. Poison, poison. Oh, yeah, that works. That just got a lot of poison. Alright. Oh, this. There we go. Alright. So, let's go turn that puppy in. It looks like it's time for us to make our way all the way back over to. It was dead. Give me money. Thank you. Alright, that's it for. Ooh, hang on. What is that? Okay, this is not the video. Alright, so we're going to wrap things up here, heading back on over to the port in the next part. So make sure to stay tuned, and we will see you all then.